Hello guys, welcome back to another video, this week's video. It's actually Monday, I never usually pick you up on a Monday because it's my work day. Um, it's been a long day, but today for us is payday, so I thought, right, I want to do, I think I've mentioned in other videos how I want to start doing an online food shop. Um, so I'm going to do that and book it in this week for it to hopefully come on Sunday. Nice. Copying, yeah? Love you. Um, yeah, I'm wanting to book a slot. Sorry for the cut off there. Matt's shouting, trying to remind me. He's saying love you, but he knows I'm filming. So, um, yeah. So, what was I saying? Baby brain. Um, yeah, I'm basically copying Elle's inspiration from this with getting it delivered on a Sunday because it is just a really great chance to just get everything sorted for the week ahead. But, like I say, I've not done, done that this week. Um, so... I thought I'll get stuff for this week. I popped to B&M and I wanted to get stuff like in bulk that's going to last us for like the, the month really. Got loads of brand new cleaning products. I think I'm going to clean one of my days off this week. So yeah, it's now actually 25 to 7 so Matt's just bathing Isla. Um, and yeah, I'll show you what I've got really. Some of the things are different this week to what I would normally get but another thing that I've, me and Matt have said and found is that it's a really silly habit we've got into but on days when we were working a lot of the time we'd end up just getting meal deals we just didn't make a pack up and obviously meal deals and it's only like what 350 or four pound depending on where you go it all adds up doesn't it every day so i thought i'll get a load of pack up stuff for matt um i didn't really get any pack up stuff for me because i'm not really a sandwich kind of gal but i could make some pasta salad kind of thing i've got some pasta and stuff so yeah, let me spin the camera around, show you what we've got. Hope this will last us like through to the weekend. I might have to pop to get a couple of bits. Um, but yeah, here he is, I can hear him. <laughs> da, 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 with little baby princess. He's not feeling well, are you? Although she looks it, which is good. <laughs> she's not eating. She had, a, she had breakfast this morning. Aww. But then she's even passed out chocolate and... His sandwich, his special sandwich from Daddykins. Get off, mummy. Um, so yeah, Don't let me talk you through. Ooh. You can have a look whilst I'm talking, but meal ideas. So for the week, I'm thinking, this is no, no particular order, depending on the things run out of date, but I'm thinking fish, <laughs> fish cakes and salad is one of our go-tos. Steak and salad and chips. Um, I need to actually get the steaks though because we do prefer them from Morrison's and the ones in Tesco are a bit, you know, it's like the end of the day and there's no good ones left. So I'm thinking fish cake and salad one night, steak and chips, burgers, I uh, picked up some burgers, I'll show you those, with nice bread buns, cheesy roll bread buns and chips or just salad. Um, spag bowl or chilli, that's another go-to of ours. Chicken pie. Um... So that's good five nights tea, isn't it? So yeah, it'll kind of see us through. We've got some potatoes, we want to do jacket potato one night. Um, sausages in case we want to do sausage and mash or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna go have a go at making a chicken pie because my mum makes the best chicken pie. So if you're watching this mum, <laughs> hopefully ours is as nice as yours, probs not. But my, the key what my mum does is she does the short crust on the bottom, doesn't she, and puff pastry on the top. Now, my mum actually makes that from scratch, the short crust, but I'm not, not going that far yet. Um, I've bought it pre-rolled, but we'll give it a go. I'm just looking forward to having some proper meals, because sometimes we've just got to the day and we've had nothing in. Popped to Morrison, spent a fortune each day and just been like disheartened with what we've been eating. So yeah, I'll stop waffling on, but let me show you what we've picked up. So, some quavers for Isla. Randomly, I got wheat crunches because it just, I don't know, made me think throwback to childhood and actually had a pack on the way home, hence why they're opening. Bit underwhelming, but got those. This was on offer, club card. Um, we really like this, Capri Sun Cordial, it's really nice. Again, as you know, when we've mentioned previous videos, um, we don't have an air fryer still at the moment. That's hopefully something we're going to get this month if we can find any good deals. But for now, we've just got some oven chips. In fact, let me just put the oven on. I think Matt said that he's feeling the burgers tonight. More milk, obviously, for Isla. Got some cheese, bread rolls. 
some normal bread rolls for Matt's pack ups. I've got some sourdough because I think it's like 115 calories per slice, but the slices are huge. So I thought I could just have that, you know, like my avocado on toast, and it just feels a bit more luxury with egg. Some white, white sliced toasty bread. I ended up just freezing this, pulling it out. Sausages, like I say, for whatever. There weren't any good sausages on offer. Normally we like the caramelised onions, but I thought, meh. Some cheese slices for the burgers. Some cooked ham for Matt's sandwiches. Some muller ice pots for Matt to take to work. Because he really likes these. I'm not a fan personally, but he loves them. So I thought I'd get in them. Just some jacket potatoes. Um, I got some food bags because, you know, just to pop the sandwiches in rather than it just... Yeah, I should have got some more foil actually, but I didn't think. Pepper and onion for whatever we make one night. I got these for myself. I really like these brunch bars. And I got Matt some cherry bakewells. I love some... Basically, it's like Ready Brex Super Smooth Porridge. Oh, I also got you some blueberry wheats, babe. Some blueberry wheat so I can take them to work for breakfast. In fact, yours looks smaller than mine, but it's the same amount, but it looks thinner box. I like the frosted wheats. Again, these used for my favourite cereal as a kid. And um, they still are, really. I also got you some red Leicester cheese, thinking of him. So I got Matt that. I prefer just that one. Um, some mushrooms. We haven't won the lottery of Lurp, guys, but it was on offer, so... Quite a big tub for three pound. I got you some nice jam as well. Yeah. Got you some nice jam. Oh. Some nice jam. Some mackerel because if you know, I love that on toast. Some light Philadelphia for make like a nice creamy pasta or pop it in Isla's sandwiches. Um, some tender stem broccoli because that's always nice to have with like the steak or the chicken pie or just you know on the side. Some butterhead salad which we'll probably have with like the burgers and stuff. Some really nice pasta, rigatoni. I got this, which I don't know if I can really use that in the pie, but looked nice, I thought we'll try it. I've got some Diane sauce when we do have steak one night, because I just love that. Um, some bacon for like breakfast and stuff. Some more of the fish cakes. I think I picked these up in our last haul and they were so nice. We liked them both like for different ways. So this was the one with basically cheese in the middle and then there was the chorizo. They were really nice. Two for five. Jalapeno and mozzarella burgers. These were on offer. I think they're 3 50 but they do look really nice. 5% fat mints. Some chicken with chicken pie. Some leeks. And then some reduced fat puff pastry and some short crust pastry. So yeah, that's everything we picked up. What's happened to your hair, babe? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, that so yeah, that's everything we picked up. So I hope that'll last us a week. I think it will. And I'm actually feeling I say that there, Matt's laughing because uh, he knows. What? No, I'm not sure. Or if I'm not laughing at the fact we'll say uh, last us the week. Get on camera, but I'm getting up there. She's stuck Nick. Oh, she's looking in the B and M bag. That's what I'll show you next. I'm just gonna put all this shopping away and I'll talk through B and M. But like I say, I wanted to just get a load of cleaning products for the month for a reset. Where's the spud? So I'll show you my B and M haul in a minute, but Matt's about to put her in some PJs that we've got her. Um, four pound B and M. A lot of pajamas in most places at the minute are like short, you know, because it's coming to summer, but yeah, I just thought they were really cute with like unicorn stars on, so I thought it was a really good price. I do actually really want to go to the big Tesco's on one of my days off, because I don't know if you've seen all over like TikTok and everywhere, but everyone's saying that the Zara McDermott range that she's brought out, I think it's called Limitless, is like a Skims dupe. I'm not going to go mad, um, but I do want to get a couple of like pairs of leggings and stuff, because none of my clothes fit me. Um, I'm like really uncomfortable type stage but I think I mentioned in another video I don't want to go mad and get loads of maternity clothes this time around which I did last time because you don't really wear them much after 
Um, so yeah, just like size up a little bit and I'll have a look and maybe take you along with me. I also want to get Anna a new swimming costume and I've seen online, unless I'm a sucker for, to be an influence now, now, but I've seen online how um, Sainsbury's have got a really cute like strawberry collection for babies. So I want to get a cute little strawberry costume. So if, I'll see what the weather's like this week, but hopefully I'll be able to pick you up and we'll go there together one of the days. Something I forgot to get, well not forgot, but was washing stuff, like, you know, like, what you, what was it called, like washing, yeah. stuff that you washed your clothes with, basically. Yeah. Because I don't know how, how much you've got left, but I wanted to get like a really big pack again yeah. to last us. But there weren't any good deals on today in B&M or Tesco, so I thought, I'll have a look. Well, we're doing a different, aren't we? What? We're getting her stuff. Oh, yeah. Her. Yeah, we're using the fair in the baby one basically what you wash baby stuff in for either stuff and then we're getting us because we found that our clothes just weren't they weren't smelling bad but they, you know when you want your clothes to smell like really nice and you haven't got a scent a scent yeah so we're gonna do that I'll have a look tomorrow i might have a look online tonight and see where the best deals are dinner is served this is matt's this is mine mm -mm -mm. can't wait i'll let you know the verdict there not many chips yeah, but the um no, fat ones. Yeah. Okay, so it's a bit later on. And that's just put Isla to bed. Got my car I've got my car on again. I did take it off earlier for tea when we were cooking, but I've put it back on because I'm cold and we haven't put the heating on. Um I think it comes I think it had a timer. But anyway, I'm gonna go and get into my PJ soon. We've just started watching baby reindeer i've seen loads of people talking about it online it's really weird but kind of like it <laughs> anyways i thought i'll just show you my b&m haul um i did spend about i don't know the receipts in here somewhere i think i think it was like 50 odd pound yeah it's here i can't say in other videos that it's not cheap anymore 55 pound but as i was saying earlier i want to like just do a stock up kind of for the month on like cleaning products we've already got some stuff but i just wanted to like say stock up i still want to get some washing pods though so i must remember that when i go at some point this week but i do think b m is good for like use a floor and all that kind of stuff firstly this bag there's pound i mean i do like friends like Friends number one fan, but I've got two of those bags because I find that sometimes those bags can be quite pricey in some shops and a lot of the time the bags are like Spider-Man all over them or it's hard to find like an okay looking one. I've got a couple of these and I need to remember to keep them in my car because I bought two, took one in, I went to B&M first and I went to Tesco's and I literally got all my Tesco's, what I showed you, in this bag rather than having loads of little bags and trying to carry stuff. But I don't need to worry about that, do you? Because I'm going to start to do an online shop. <laughs> anyway, let me just go through everything I've got. Not loads and loads, but like I say, just things that we needed. So, first thing, some more vanish. We go through this so much, um, especially with Isla's clothes. So I've got some vanish for light colours, and I've got some vanish for whites um, to keep them in the utility room. This is mainly a cleaning kind of haul. Well, I think it, yeah, it is. I've got some more uh, scourers. I like these ones from B&M. Because they do last like quite a while. You get about 10 in a pack. So yeah, scourers. Um, some more socks for Isla. 3.50, eight pack. Again, sometimes socks, oh, they're quite cute. Different like pinky tones. Um, but again, sock can be quite pricey, you know, like, you know, in your supermarkets and stuff. So, I've got some more socks. Honestly, it does my head in. I mean, I lose my own socks, but Isla's especially because she pulls them off left, right, and centre. I wash and wash and wash, and they'll be like the odd sock, and I put the ones that are odd into a pile to like pair back together again. Never find them. By the time I do, she's on to the next size sock. So, socks. Um, some little bin liners, again, I find they're quite cheap in B&M, and nice and thick ones. 
my camera ran out of memory again then. Um, so yeah, next thing I got was some a really big, simple shower cream, which can keep an hour shower. I did get a couple of cheap ones from Aldi the other week to keep for like swimming and stuff, you know, just to keep in our bags. But hopefully that will last us a good few weeks. Then got some cheap shampoo and conditioner. Say cheap, I think it was like £1.50. So this is VO5, which again I'm going to take for if I ever wash my hair at swimming to keep in my gym bag. Um, so yeah, not tried that one, but I'm pretty sure I've had it years ago actually. Next, I picked up, sometimes you know, if you're running out of shampoo and stuff and you haven't got anything in and you need something, I thought this would be a good like backup. And it was literally, how much was it? I feel like it was like two pound fifty i don't know what make it is two pound 29 it's as you can see huge so i'll have to let you know on this when i do use it it's a whole liter but it's it says argan oil shampoo and i know argan oil always is quite nice on my hair i wish i'd picked up the conditioner but they didn't have it so yeah, i just thought it looked really nice and aesthetic too i mean i don't know there might be some hair just on here and be like do not use but yeah, vegan friendly, looks nice, I thought, try it. Known to hydrate plus give hair a natural boost. So that's kind of like a backup and if I do go in again and see the conditioner, I'm gonna definitely pick that up and give it a try. But you know they do like the bed head stuff. Well, I seen that and I seen that they do these T-I-G-I. -I -I. Um, I remember in lockdown, I used to use like this curling product, like um, because my hair naturally is if I just, if I scrunch it up with a bit of kind of uh, product on it, does go quite curly. Um, so these are big bottles, seven hundred and fifty ml. I'm thinking if I try and use these sparingly, they might actually last me. You know, to get a decent one. So it's oatmeal and honey, um, shampoo and conditioner for da dry damaged hair. So these are the same size bottles of the bedhead ones. These were a bit pricey, like £7.40 each. But then I do find that I buy little bottles all the time, most weeks, and go through them really quick. They're like 3 50 anyway. So yeah, I'll update you on that. But I've never seen these ones in like supermarkets and stuff. So I'm excited to try those. I'll definitely have to keep you updated. To be fair, I probably won't wash my hair for a good few days now. It's not too bad, but when I do, I'll update you. I did smell this in the shop. Because they had it in lots of different things. Like they had it in washing your clothes kind of pods and stuff. But it's a new Mrs. Hinch Vacay Vibes Edition. Um, fairy liquid. So again, I've got a massive tub of this. I did try the, is it not Zaflora, the other one? fabulosa and it's okay it's quite cheap it's like under two pound but i do like fairy liquid i do think it goes a lot further and um, i feel like i squirt loads of the cheaper ones whereas that you literally need a little bit for fairy don't you so i've got a big one of those and the last three things i got were just cleaning products as you know i like to get matchy matchy when it comes to wipes and i've smelt these in the shop um really nice so it's tulip and peach blossom so i've got the wipes the spray and then the the flora disinfectant which i love to use like in the bins in the sink pour bits here and there and um, sometimes dilute it and use it as like say if i run out of the spray i'll use it as like basically a spray but i can't remember what it smells like i smelled in the shop but i remember thinking mm, that is lovely i did have the springtime one because i thought it was spring and it is nice but this one yeah it's a really nice i can't explain it but it is really summery scent it does smell a bit floral but like floral it's like ugh, that's a bit flowers it's not like that i think it's got the peach as well mm, it's really nice fresh scent really really nice it reminds me of like a not perfume not too strong like a perfume but like a nice 
body mitts kind of spray. <laughs> I could spray that on me, that's really lovely. So yeah, that has hopefully inspired me with my big clean that I'm going to do one of my days off this week. Um, and yeah, I'm happy with the bits that I've brought. I didn't actually go mad. Some of the aisles, I just didn't even go down because I thought, I know what I'm like. I'll just buy a load of stuff that I don't need. Whereas all this stuff I actually did need. And like I say, hopefully with the shampoo stuff, it does last me a lot longer because... I've never bought massive bottles because I'm always put off by paying like that much outright. But if it lasts me and it's good, then why not? So yeah, right, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna get ready for bed. I'm gonna get into bed and watch a couple of episodes, like I say, of that baby reindeer. I'm not even gonna tackle all this, to be fair. This um, mess downstairs, that could be a tomorrow job. I'll probably regret that and think, why don't you just do it tonight? But. It's been a long Monday, it's been a long Monday. Um, Isla's pyjamas are so cute as well. So yeah, I don't think that's too bad for everything that I've got, really. Um, yeah, I'm all stocked up now. So yeah, when I get into bed, watch that. Tea was so nice, by the way. I've never really been a jalapeno, how have you say it, jalapeno lover. I can never really had it much, but Matt loves his spicy and loves jalapenos and that. And it was really nice, it wasn't too spicy. It was just like, perfect. So yeah, really enjoyed tea. And I think them chunky chips, they are quite filling. Cause Matt was like, you didn't have many chips, but you know what I mean, you don't need a massive plate for. Now something I'm trying to do is portion control a bit, like I was saying. Um, Cause I was really full afterwards. I think if, like I said before, if it's on my plate, and I think it's just how I've been brought up, I eat what's on my plate, so. Yeah, it was a decent sized portion. Um, so yeah, I love you and leave you because I'm just chatting absolute rubbish. I've been talking for like seven minutes now in this little segment. Um, and I'll pick you up tomorrow. Can't see the time really, can you? 5.29. Good morning, guys. Um, I'd like to have just woke up, I've actually been laying awake for about an hour, so yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I thought I'd just get up, I don't only, I don't only mind getting up, you know, if I'm off swimming or something, but to get up to now I'm tired, it's a bit like, uh, but I thought I'd get up while them two are still asleep. Matt's going to go to the gym, I think, this morning, so I'll need waking up, because if you watch our videos, you'll know that it's terrible at getting up. He really wants to start going to the gym before work because it makes him feel good. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd get up, be a nice partner and make his packed lunch and start to tidy up. But yeah, yesterday, uh, yesterday. today I'm not thanking my yesterday self for not tidying because you know you've got like baking trays and everything like that that needs proper scrubbing so let's get on with it and yeah let's just start the day start cleaning and I think I've got a glass of orange juice we've got some um, are you an orange juice with bits kind of person or without? I'm without, and that's with, so he bought this, so obviously he's got with for himself. Um, just have a little drop. Yeah, happy Tuesday. Let's get on with it. His lordship's pet lunch. I've just got him some cereals to take. I think there's loads of milk at work. These bakewell crisps, and I've got him two some. Well, one's the burger leftover burger from last night, and I've got him a ham and cheese sandwich. So hopefully, that will keep him going. Right onto the never-ending mountain of pots. <laughs>
tidy is going strong. Looks a mess still, but I am cleaning stuff. And look who's woken da, up. Da, 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 da. You are such a daddy's girl, aren't you? Mama, mama. Good morning, princess. Crazy hair. Do you have a nice sleep? Look what the first thing she's doing when she gets she up. Shoes! Clever girl! First thing she's doing is trying to put her crocs on. I told you she's literally Man. obsessed. Sorry to put your crocs on. <coughs> Crockies! Woo! Uh -oh. Come on then. Let's have your feet. I'm saying they need to um get the next size up because it's just a bit of an effort getting them on initially. <laughs> You're excited. You love your crockies, don't you? Yay! One. Two. I was going to get the next size up yesterday from B and M, but the size fives looked huge. <laughs> Want to stand up then? And off she goes. Hi, <sighs> love. Bye, Mama. Okay, yep. Yeah. Just been in the utility for ages, to be fair. Just sorting out washing, putting some washing outside. I don't know if it'll make it more damp because it's currently like half six. The sun's kind of not really yet, but yeah. I also really need to clean this carpet, this rug. It's filthy. I don't know how to clean it now. I've got some like doctor, whatever it's called. And it literally was the only the, the, the other month we got it professionally cleaned. But obviously kind of white slash cream rug and a toddler equals <laughs> carnage. But <laughs> you come to say hiya. But it was really good when she was practicing in to walk. You know, when she's falling over all the time. She's also getting a little bit more used to this little horse, eh? She likes touching it still and walking around it, but still not brave enough to go on it yet. <laughs> Horsey! <laughs> Leave me alone. She's just so good at little playing and toddling around. Good morning. Oh, that was lovely. Blowing kisses. <laughs> Do you like Corsi? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get you! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! I'm coming for you! <laughs> Good mommy's gonna get you! <laughs> mommy's coming! <laughs> Oh,
Okay guys, I'm back, I'm ready. Um, this is what we normally do in the morning. You've probably seen that Matt was actually cleaning up, which was nice of him to help me out before work. Um, but I always, like I said before, get up um, and get ready before he goes to work. It's just so much quicker and easier to get ready. Um, whilst he's still around, it, otherwise it just literally takes me hours. I mean, I don't exactly dress up glam do I but you know what I mean have a quick shower and stuff and um, so yeah I'm making can you guess my usual if you're wondering why I'm holding this it's because we still haven't wired up the um thingy properly and um, I'm actually gonna because the weather's looking a bit grim I think I might go oh my god sorry I was saying about going to Tesco, I was thinking I might do that um, later on, like after I was nap. So I think today's going to be more of a chilling at home day, really. Um, I'm going to catch up with my sister on the phone. And yeah, although one, I mean, it's not only really a tip, I'm sure most people do it, but bread in the freezer as soon as we buy it i pop it in the freezer because otherwise matt never does and he buys bread and it just goes moldy in, in the cupboard and never get through a full loaf so yeah, isla's now on a second breakfast <laughs> well just a little slice of toast she had wheat a bit earlier um so yeah another slice of egg an avocado on toast and now i think what i'm going to do is make my chicken pie so wish me luck um because I don't really know what I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to read a recipe. Maybe I will look at recipe a little bit. But I'm thinking, cooking it all off. I might whack it in the slow cooker on low. I don't know. I'll get back to you on the matter what I decide to do. But yeah, I kind of want to have it. Obviously, I'll cook the pie a bit later. But you know, like the actual filling. I've got mushrooms, leeks, chicken. I've got some of that chicken thing I showed you. I might just bulk it. I was like, chicken stock. I don't know if I've got any chicken stock. If not, maybe some vegetable stock. But I don't even know if we're out of that, you know. And obviously, I'm going to put beef stock in, chicken pie. Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know. Hopefully, it will turn out well, though, because. Obviously, to be fair, I say you spend loads of money on the pie, but actually, even frozen pie is not uh, cheap anymore for like a decent ish looking one. So it's probably similar, but obviously, it's just a lot more effort that you're putting into it when it's um, your own. So, yeah, I'm going to make my breakfast, have a look into the chicken pie situation, and I'll come back to you. Okay, sorry. How good does this look? I mean, my head's chopped off, so apologies. <laughs> but I want to do a taste test. My egg's not the runniest, so rookie error there. But I just forgot about it, to be honest. This is my first time that I've actually bought. I've obviously tried sourdough, but let me do a taste test. Mmm. Oh yeah, that was lovely. Now probably if I had two eggs, it's a really big piece of toast. And to be honest, I um, wish that I'd put bacon and mushrooms on as well, but I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> but that bread is so lovely. to eight I think but just had to show you that sunset like honestly how beautiful and I can't really see it through the window that well but just makes you feel so happy just to look at the glow <laughs> I look very dishevelled but this glow is helping mm -mm. um it's many hours later my pie is going well I used that jar that I was telling you about and I've just popped it all so I cooked off the leeks I boiled them in the pan I'm just going to let that simmer so I've got the mushrooms, 
chicken, onion and leeks. I don't know how big the pie's going to be though. I don't want to make like a really big one and there not be much filling in it. So yeah. I don't know. Right, it's better off making a smaller one. Anyway, um, I've just got my coat on because I've just come back. I was going to pick up the camera and take you with me. But I'm kind of glad that I didn't. Um, because I went to Tesco's and... Yeah, you know, I was wanting to show you the... The range. Hello. Hello, Beth. Is she asleep? She is asleep. Oh, look how look nice the sunset looks. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Wait till that goes down later. Um, I'm Are just you saying... Somewhere? I don't know, I'll probably agree, so... I don't know. I'm just saying how rubbish the... So honestly, right, I was searching. So I went to Tesco looking for that Zara range. I spent about 20 minutes looking for it. There was a tiny stand as I was leaving. You know, like, to go to the main aisles. Oh, yeah, you got something. No, it were crap. Um, I got a t-shirt, but not from her reign. I'll show you. <laughs> I got a t-shirt and a blouse, but I'm not sure if the blouse... It's like a foil one, you know, for summer. I thought picnics and stuff. I think it was £3.50, Kidston. So that was me. It's got strawberries all over it. I was going to go to Sainsbury's, but we're going to go there another night too. Yeah, so I've got to now go. That's joy. I really don't like driving there. So. I really do not like going. <laughs> God, this is the blouse look, but it's a little bit see-through, so I have to wear a vest underneath. Are you thinking mm. granny vibes or...? Yeah. I knew you would. T-shirt. I got this for five pounds something. That's sun. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? I'll flip you around in a minute if you can um, see. Oh, just says. Can't even California. see it because it's on California. Spelt wrong. Yes, I got this for like. Is it? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I got this for like five pounds something because it was twenty five cent. I've won it in a large. Oh, so I thought it was going to grow a bump. That's nice, isn't nice. it? Yeah, we'll just some black leggings or something. Hmm. I really wanted to get a trench coat, but there were forty five quid in Tesco, so I might look on it. Bloody hell, look at that. Ooh. I've got that. Oh, I've got to go back. <gasps> Twin pack! The real deal today. The real flipping yeah. deal. Yeah. And then, um, one minute. Eyebrow pencil. Eyebrow pencil. To be fair, I wish I'd got one off oh, line off Amazon. I can't even see them. <laughs> um, 16 no, quid. No, £6.50. But I'm... Six quid? Yeah. Gio. Yeah. PG tips. I've got oh. Anna some decaf PG decaf. tips. She really likes the tea. And we're going to be conscious about the... Sun. Yeah. Take you out. Show you the view. view. You can't even see the view because it. Because it's on look. No, that was so pretty. You can't even see, can you? No, it doesn't do it justice. Does not do it justice, look. And then I've got these to finish off my haul. King film, great haul. Boring. I've got some more moisturising cream, so I'm running out. Kitchen foil and cling film and that that cost me like a tenner, you know, for them for free. Okay. Crazy. Anyway. That's cost it. of living sucks. Mm-hmm. 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 It does. Yeah, the pie. If you want to the pie, babe. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a view. Yeah, I did when I oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. I did through the window. The pie. Oh, ah. not in there. Bubbling away. Oh yeah, I think that's a bit too bubbling in there actually. Oof. Oof. So yeah, I need to do the actual, like I say, it's hours later, but Matt came home from work, not hungry. Yeah. Yes, because someone packed me up. So, she packed me up breakfast, which was, morning. oh did you? Cereal. I need to talk on what I About think. two or three chocolate bars. Oh, no. Packet of crisps. Yeah. A cherry bagel. You did, you did me a burger that we had last night. We did an extra one, so I took that. And you did me a ham and cheese sandwich. And while I was at work, someone fed me a... Um, Look, bird, yeah. Like a vegetarian small piece, I think. So, no, I didn't... Oh, some still at work, but... When food's out, I eat it. Yeah, meanwhile me, a couple of bags of crisps and that sourdough with one egg on, so I'm starving. But I'm getting a bit peckish now. Yeah, look at... 
Update them on our series watching. Baby reindeer. Baby reindeer. Weird as hell. Yeah. Yeah. But we're kind of enjoying it, aren't we? Yeah, in a freaky way. Like that Jeffrey Dahmer thing. You yeah. don't like it, but you do. Yeah, so I don't know how many episodes we've got left. But... <sighs> we thought it was over, but it's not. Mm, I'm glad it wasn't there, because that would have been a really good little princess. Day. Sleeping away. Down here, look. Yeah, we just, yeah, some of them were really happening late. It's a true story, so we will see. I'll show you to you when it's plated up. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is the I mean, aesthetically, it doesn't look the best, but my first go, I'm pretty impressed. Hey, I'm a poet. Try to do a little love heart as well. Um, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. I've got ten of broccoli, chips, gravy, obviously. Um, so I'm going to plate it up and I'll let Matt do the taste test. Okay, so if I do say so myself, I've done a pretty good job. Um, I need Matt to do a taste test. Are you buy Hmm? And Anna's just woken up just in time for tea. Hopefully she'll just settle a little bit. Um, but yeah, taste test of the pie. Mm. Not lovely. Out of ten. I shall like, come back I'll to come it. Come back the end. to me for that because it's red hot and on too. Okay. Hey guys, quick update after tea. We just had spag ball, really nice. Look at Anna's face there. The frog. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I would update you to say how um, Matt's changed his mind about my blouse. But I decided to keep it because it's just really nice and floaty and comfortable. Um, also, I never picked the camera up and said your review from last night's tea. Oh, really nice. Really nice. Out, out of ten. Out of ten. Probably, my first attempt. Probably say an 8.5. What could be improved? Uh, the leak. So you couldn't taste the leek. I think that's because of that jar though, it overpowered. Like if I just had chicken and leek and I made like a really simple sauce from the juices or whatever. Did, did you cook the leek though? Yeah. That probably wouldn't. Then it'd be rock hard in me, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be like... But I think obviously cooking the leek would have took the flavour away from it. Mm. Any tips about leek pies, let me know. Um, but you know what? I really enjoyed spag bowl just then, which yeah. I made again. I'm on a roll with cooking this week. Um, you know what I do? I mean, everyone makes it's such a simple thing, isn't it? But basically, I do the mince. I put in some garlic granules and mixed herbs. And I use two tins of chopped tomato, put mushrooms in. But I also put in a tiny bit of gravy salt, which my mum always does. My mum's amazing at cooking. Gravy salt, a sprinkle of that, and then um, put that in the end. Put the islands aside because I don't put salt in hers. And then the the thing that I think makes it really tasty is obviously a bit of tomato puree to thicken it up as well. But I like to put an oxo cube, like a beef oxo cube, and it really brings the flavour out. I'm talking like I'm, what's his name, Jamie Oliver. <laughs> really brings the flavour out. But also I think we had, is it called rigatoni pasta? I think so. We had that pasta is for like spaghetti and we really enjoyed that as well. I think we got that Tesco finest one. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. And a sprinkle of the, uh, is it mature cheddar that I like? The yellow one? No. I like basically the like mild, low fat, pale cheese and Matt likes the red one so he had that and I had that and I really enjoyed it didn't you? You had all of it gorgeous. <laughs> Ta! Um, so yeah I just thought I'd come on to quickly update you really. I've been at work today, Matt's been out with Isla um, and they sent me such cute videos. I literally put her hair in a little ponytail again, she looks so cute. Obviously it's pulled out now. But yeah, it's been a good day. Not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow, but I'm sure I will pick you up 
Hey guys, what a vibe this is, got club music in the background, um, as you can see we're at the play area. Isla! Isla! She's been giving everybody kisses, like blowing them kisses hasn't she? Yeah. And she made a little friend. It's really good actually because it's all... Um, I just can't escape there because it's all, what do you call it? You have to have your band, don't you, to get in. It's just a really good small one at our gym. Um, and no one's really ever in it, are they? No, no, pretty chill. So yeah, obviously you can hear Matt, I'm with Matt. Oh, you know, we've just been playing ball, can we, for ages? Ball! It's quite good as well because she's starting to say the colours of the balls, isn't she? Yeah, it's a purple, isn't she? Yeah, Isla, what colour's that? Is it purple? Purple. 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 She's gone yep. camera shy. <laughs> Look as well, I've put a little headband in her hair. Matt's idea because this morning she got one of mine out of my dressing table. Not that I wear them when I'm doing makeup and stuff. And um oh, she's like put it on herself, so I'd found that one of hers in one of the drawers and it was really big at the time, wasn't it? I think we ordered one of her outfits months ago. And it fits so good, it gets her hair out. I mean, she does pull it off, but not as much as the bubbles, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I just got a, a coffee. Yay! Was that good? Oh, now Daddy's coming. Oh. Oh. <laughs> good morning, guys. I've really, really washed my hair, but I'm going to do that swimming. Happy Saturday. Um, it's currently about quarter to eight. I'm going to go swimming. I would have gone earlier, but um, they only have lane swimming on eight or nine on a weekend. So I thought, get up, go. I had a nice little lane, actually. Isla and Matt are still asleep. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go to him and I'm going to pop to Morrison's first. I want to get a notebook because I've got lots of work to do and things to write down, notes to take and an iced coffee. Pop there, go to him for half an hour and then I'm wanting to get out, I think, later on in the day after I've got some bits done. Um, but yeah, it's been another long week with work and stuff, so... I'm excited to just have a bit of me time, unwind. I still haven't had like a self-care evening. I think I said in last week's vlog, I was like, I want to go and do my fake tan. I just never did. So I'm in desperate need of like a face mask and fake tan and a good soak in the bath. So I think I'm going to aim to do that at some point today, preferably tonight. So anyways, that would be nice. But last night we ended up, we finished watching that baby reindeer, which I think we've already said was good but weird. And now we're on to watching that manifest. So I know people have probably watched that by now. So let me know your thoughts. We're on to like episode two or three. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go because I don't want to be late and not have long enough to swim. Okay, so I've got the goods. I've just gone for a Costa one today. I do prefer the one with the Starbucks ones. But something else I want to do myself care is my nails. I've not done my nails in so long. I'm filming in. Um, and then I've just got this notepad it's like a grey kind of croc leathery one three pound I didn't think that was like, too bad I normally like to get um like an A3 not A3 A4 size because I do quite like a big notepad but it was like a papery one and I know if I shove stuff in my bag it's just gonna get all screwed up so I feel like that one will last me longer um sorry my camera's all over the place but yeah by the time I get ready and get into the pool, I'll probably have half an hour-ish of swimming, so that'll be perfect. Um, but I'm in a really good mood today. I think when the sun shines, it's just crazy how it affects your mood in a positive way, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I'll catch you later. Ah, oh, guys, honestly, I feel so refreshed. I feel so good. I feel like a new woman. I've done 30 lengths. Started off really not enjoyable <laughs> because it was just so busy. Splish, splash, splish, splash everywhere. 
and then it kind of got dead so it was just me and the slow lane which I love because I'm quite slow I just do breaststroke but you know I'm still going um so yeah I've decided definitely I'm gonna go by the way my hair's wet still because the hair dryers out because it's rubbish it's like of air like that um so it's literally I've been there, stood there for about two hours because my hair's so thick so I'm gonna go home have breakfast dry my hair properly shove it up go in the bath do my self-care then I'm gonna do my jobs I need to do weather's looking a bit meh but if it is okay later on it'd be nice to go out on a walk um but yeah I'm just feeling so good and I've still got some of my coffee left win 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 it's a little thing isn't it okay i'm sorry but how good does this look i know i keep raving about it but the bread it's the what did i say i think i've already said what it's called oregano and tomato oh, sourdough let's see if i've done this good <gasps> yeah mm -mm -mm. Uh, matt has his with Philadelphia and he was like you need to try mine because I have mine with avocado so let you know but I can't wait to chuck into this so so yummy um so yeah a thousand percent recommend that bread game changer hi guys <laughs> transition um I'm yet to wash it off I'm gonna wash my fake tan off in an hour or so well actually probably should do it sooner um but I'm actually going to edit this first and pop it on. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would round off today's vlog. Done my nails. I think this is the shade... Focus. Chai Latte, I think it's called, from Barry M. I really like the Barry M. Is it called Jelly Nails? Always leaves a really nice finish. So yeah, I'm feeling a lot better um, after my little self-care. Ready for the week ahead. Um, we have got a food shop coming, I have done it guys, although annoyingly I had an email saying we've had four substitutes and then like five things were completely out of stock and we haven't got a substitute for. So that's annoying, you're going to have to go to the shop and get some like washing detergent stuff, is that what you call it, tomorrow, but hey ho, I've got a majority of it, at least it'll just be popping in and won't be a massive weekly shop, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, and I'll see you next week. Have a fantastic week and I hope you have a brilliant weekend too. Bye.